If you've subscribed to my channel to watch chess videos, I certainly appreciate that. But today I'm going to be do, doing something very different. I've been playing this game recently called The Lost Air, in which it's a text-based choose-your-own-adventure game where you have lots of different options for customization. And I've not found a good walkthrough for this online, nor have I found it on YouTube. So since I play this game so much, I'm choosing to create one myself. And I'm going to show you the best character that I think and the best possible way to play through this game, at least in my experience. If you have a better way, by all means, uh, feel free to suggest it. All right. So in this game, you have lots of different options. And if whatever you choose gives you a bonus most of the time. And by the way, if you have not played this game before, then stop watching this video, play through it a couple of times, and then come back here to see uh, some spoilers. If you have... Uh, if you've played through this video, you may want to pause it at key moments so that you can see what I do, because I go kind of quickly. Here, I'm going to take Perception. And I'm going to choose Petra, very important. And I'm going to choose to be, um, I'll always be Donovan, I suppose. It doesn't matter what name you choose. And I'm going to boost Arcana, and you'll see why. Maximize Petra relationship gain. And I'm going to favor my academic studies, get a geography boost, listen carefully for Arcana, and be kind and get charm. And then here, lie and get some charm. Doesn't matter what I choose here. And here I'm going to choose to visit all the different trainers and get as many bonuses as possible. Some of these choices that I'm making, it doesn't matter uh, what you choose. You'll still have options to uh, continue on, and sometimes you don't. Here, I'm going to choose this option for a double bonus. Now, each of these four characters, well, no matter what you do, this happens. Um, this is kind of a scripted event. What you can control, however, is you can um, choose which skills you want to uh, improve. Here, I'm going to get some perception. And here, I'm going to dodge to the guards to get agility to 40. It's kind of important. Now, you can follow one of these four people, and they each have a bonus. Sir Grady is good at swords. Emmeline is good at stealth. Uh, Gary is good at unarmed combat. And Amos, I think, is devices. I'm going to choose to follow Sir Grady, and I'm going to choose to learn swordplay from him. If you choose what they're specialized in, you get 30 in that ability. If you choose anything else, you get 15 in the primary thing and five in the secondary. So magic, I get 15 magic and five arcana. Well, 20 is less than 30, so I'm gonna get 30 here. And I'm also gonna choose to become a squire, and that's gonna give me tons of stats. And most importantly, it's gonna get my blades close to 50. Okay, I'm gonna make Carla a girl. And I do need to buy one thing. I need to buy a lantern. And that's all I need equipment wise. So take her hand. We're going to go out of town. And then we are going to get a blades boost here. And then chat a bit with her. And then go get a drink. And we're going to maximize relationship with Carla, and we're also going to pick up some charm points right there. All right, we're going to listen to some Grady, pick up some Arcana, and we're going to essentially play not to use the Demon Stones. If you do use the Demon Stones, you get more willpower. If you don't use the Demon Stones, you get everything else, and it's kind of hard to maximize other skills if all you're getting is willpower. And you never really get enough willpower, at least in the first game, to make demon summoning viable. I'm gonna to choose to make Theo a man, simply so that there is no relationship option there. Get some perception, get some relationship with him. All right, and here I'm gonna use charm. You need a skill over 40 for one of these to work. So there I'm gonna make the charm work. 
pick up some geography, and I'm not going to choose to steal or use demon stones. All right, here we need blades 50 for this approach to work. And because we have blades 50, we're able to kill the troll. We're not going to be able to open this without high enough devices, but that's okay. So here we're going to call to Theo, and because we have high perception, we see the trap. We're going to climb down. We're going to search it. Open the door, kill the kobolds, and then here's why we need the lantern. And when we kill this kobold, we get our first artifact, which gives us plus 20 nature. Now you can have as many artifacts as you can get in the game, and they do not conflict with each other, so artifacts are very, very powerful. If you double cross Master Jet, you get more gold, but you um, suffer in the sequel. All right, I'm gonna pick up some free religion. You can make a Divine Oath never to steal, you get plus 10 good, but we're gonna maximize good without that. You definitely wanna become a partner, very important. And you might be tempted to continue your training as a squire, but actually what's best is to work in the library. Now, I am a librarian, so I have a bias there. And then you can make Jess or Jace whatever relationship you want. We're not going to pursue a relationship with Jess. In fact, we are going to kind of throw her under the bus to maximize our relationship with Petra. And we are going to pursue a romantic relationship with Petra. Now, here's an important point. You have a level in Squire, and you're offered a free horse. Definitely, definitely take it and uh, do not sacrifice it for meat or gold. We don't need to buy anything else. So um, we're done. And then here we're going to pick up some strength with Theo. We're going to chat with everybody except for Jess. There's no point chatting with her because she hates us. And here we're going to lay the groundwork for a relationship with Petra and also Petra's side quest. We can't actually maximize our relationship with Petra by agreeing how much we both hate Jess. Okay, chat with Theo. And you can't unlock the side quest quite yet, but that'll come later. Again, sacrifice relationship with Jess. Now here, as a melee class, it's quite tricky. If you're um, a magic class, then casting a Noxious Cloud is quite powerful. Here, though, we're going to uh, go through them with our swords. And we're actually going to stand behind Jess. Don't take a hit for that. We're going to kill yet another guard. And now we're going to tear a crystal from the wall, and that's going to kill two more guards. Get an agility bonus, because we avoided that trap. And then Arcana bonus by explaining what it means first. Definitely pry the stone loose. It gives and definitely ransack the antechamber. And then outside you can take on the guards with your sword. It doesn't matter if you look in the room bag or not. And then we're going to go back home and heal up to full. And now we're going to pause in... Well, first, we're going to pursue a romantic relationship with Petra. And you can choose this option if you don't want to have a physical relationship. The relationship level will stay the same. And we also want to maximize our relationship with Carla. You can actually go over 100. Now, here's why you became a partner attacking the Samrat stronghold so that you could get this artifact. This gem gives you plus 20 perception and is very, very useful. We don't need to buy any equipment, but here we can do three things to improve ourselves and we can unlock a lot of side quests. So first we're gonna start by unlocking side quests. And second, we're going to up our endurance with Theo. We're also gonna to talk to Petra. and find out about a vampire. And that's actually the side quest we're gonna pursue in game two in the sequel. We're not gonna train with her, however. No, well, we can talk to Jess if we want, and we can get some uh, bonus that way, but that's all we can get. 
And now with Carla, we're just going to stay friends. We can unlock her side quest as well, but we're actually not going to pursue it. And definitely talk to Sir Grady. You get tons of bonuses there. Ask him about becoming a knight. And then train with him as well. That's going to give you lots and lots more bonuses. And then the last thing we're going to do, well, two more things we're going to do. First, we're going to um, pick up some charm. And then we're going to buy, you don't have to do this, but I choose to. We're going to buy both of these books to up history and geography. And we're not going to bother visiting Suno, not in this playthrough. Last thing we're do, going to do is answer questions as a sage, which gives us, again, very nice bonuses. So stats are coming along very well here. And now we can head on to Vernex, which is the last city. Now, Carla, our relationship took a hit, but you notice because we were over 100, it didn't drop down very much. Okay, here we're going to uh, be nice. And here, say what you know about the route. This is why you have geography up where you do, so that you can get these nice relationship bonuses and a geography bonus. So examine the shrine. I'm just going to ignore it and continue on, but I wanted that free religion. Now, let's do a history check and get some history bonus. And we're going to... Um, Kill these undead. This is why we need Petra, uh, that relationship so high, so that we can get rid of those skeletons. And then we're going to search for traps. We're not going to find any. When we try to take the cloak, the traps are going to spring. And if we had endurance under 40, we would actually uh, get knocked unconscious here. But instead, we just take a health hit. We can't climb it. We don't have a harness. So we're just going to ask Car Carla to knock it off. And we get the cloak of spiders, which we're actually not going to use, but I want it anyway. So we're going to stop and dance with Petra. That's going to give us religion and charm. And now we're in Vernex and we're going to charm our way past the guard. And then here you need to decide who to send to, um, to get captured, essentially. Spoiler alert for game two. I'm going to choose to send, <coughs> to send Carla and to send Theo. All right. Now we're going to go to the amphitheater and we can't, we don't have magic to cast at Zusak. If we did, we would want to so that we could do 25 damage to his guard. And now we're going to charm our way into the banquet. And then it doesn't matter what you do here. It's all going to lead to your imprisonment. So let's get there quickly. And then here, you have to be very precise in how you approach this fight. So first, and you have to have stats up to a certain point for all this to work, which is why I've played through this way. First, we're going to attack him. Next, we could use the Cloak of Spiders to go up to the ceiling, but it doesn't really help. Instead, we're going to catch his wrists. We are going to swing at the three guards and take a health hit, and then stab the demon summoning guard. Now here... We're going to swing our sword at Thuja, and it's not going to hit him. But now we're going to be able to use our Arcana to deactivate his belt of speed and pick up some nice bonuses there. And now we can attack and kill him and get a belt of speed, which we're also not going to use, but it's nice to have. Now, to finish up, we're going to go to the wilderness, and we're going to take Petra with us so we can do her side quest in game two. So... At the end, you're going to be able to save the game, and uh, I'll give it a name so you'll see that I'm using the exact same one in the sequel. And I'll have another video up where we'll continue this on, and I'll show you how to walk through game two.